they're changed for life. For some reason, I feel like what we are doing is, I think we're doing, I think we're doing something right here. I'm not exactly sure what it is, you know, but something seems to energize them like crazy. They go back with a mission to, to first of all, be extremely, uh, you know, useful in the community and be actually change makers in the community. But now I think they're learning how to. First two, three days, people don't understand exactly what it is that we're trying to achieve, but it is a constructivist learning approach for all of us and we are creating this fellowship as we go along when you have scarcity actually in your own life how do you uh, you know understand sort of the zeitgeist or the meaning of, uh, of, of abundance and really put it in your own uh, in your own practice it's crucial to do that i think one of the key criteria that we uh, use in picking fellows is that they should be coming to coming from fairly modest backgrounds yet they have had the attitude of caring for the community and they have taken it upon themselves to problem solve and that I think for us is a big thing so if they are already showing that even when they don't have resources imagine what they'll do if they have resources in the noise of, uh, of the South Asian system you know, where there is too much noise a lot of, lot of stuff going on a lot of people don't have the confidence that they're doing the right thing sometimes coming here and having somebody who's been there done that you know uh, like the Taikon mentors, myself and a bunch of other mentors we met at, met at Open. I think to have more senior mentors come to them and say, oh, that's a great idea. Let's give it a try. I think that alone is a big, uh, you know, shot in the arm. Just to know that they're on the right track, that's a huge thing, right? So being validated when they visit outside is, is a big thing. Um, yeah, I think that's what, that's what I see. I see them really being change makers in their own communities. And we don't have any expectations about what exactly they'll be doing. But they are, this is our sixth year now and they have way surpassed our expectations, all of them. So it's just a, it's a blessing to see this happening and it's also benefiting the fellowship actually and the foundation in, you know, in tangible ways because everybody is helping everybody else. Mm -hmm. It has become a tight community now, it's become like a little family now.